the first thing I would do if I weren't a radio DJ was to be a news presenter. Like I always wanted to be like Diana Cerno, like, like welcome to news on five. It's Sonny Chu. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Sonia Chu, and today I'm going to be reading a series of assumptions about me. I'm a little nervous to be honest because I know that there is a lot of stuff on the internet that I'd rather not look at and I consciously try to stay away from it. So if that's where you do your research from, then I'm screwed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sonia Chu disliked her first full-time job as a finance reporter. Okay, firstly, I wasn't a finance reporter actually. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> I did work at a business news channel. I did have a bad experience with one of the people there. I got shouted at and uh, screamed at and yelled at in front of the whole studio as an intern. And it ended up with me crying in the toilet, but that's okay. Story for a different day. Sonia is very particular about her public image, so she hired a personal photographer to take her pictures during events. Okay, um, I wouldn't totally disagree, but the reason why I hired a photographer to take photos of me at events and stuff is mainly for the convenience of it and I want to have nice photos for Instagram that can be handed to me like really really fast. In regards to being particular about my public image, have you seen the derpy pictures I post of myself on Instagram? Clearly, I'm not very particular. Sonia Chu never thought she would fall for a much older guy until she met her current boyfriend. Ooh. Not true, again. I've always dated older, to be very honest. I started working when I was um, still in school. Perhaps I was in a different phase of life and I matured a little bit faster in terms of my goals, what I want to achieve, what I want to do. And it's just easier to click with someone who's older in years, who is able to be on the same page as me and a more similar phase of life. Sonia Chu looks like one. One. Oh no! Who cannot speak and write Chinese after O and A levels. True! OMG! Uh, really quite true. But I did have to do a couple of Chinese related programs before. Um, I had to host something for Taobao I think a long time ago. So it was like English and Mandarin. I'm gonna just tell you this. I was... My pits were sweating. <laughs> my, I was having like beats of cold sweat like running down. Yeah. So when it's composition, right? I don't know, I'm pretty sure Xiaoming might have popped up every once in a while and or do I say, am I still saying it right? I can't even remember. What what the heck did I write in Chinese composition? It must have been a bunch of rubbish. Sonia Chu looks intimidating, but it's a true softie at heart. It's true. But do I look intimidating though? What do you guys think? Someone's nodding in the background. Really? Do I look okay, I need to work on my resting bitch face. Please don't be afraid to come and talk to me if you see me in public. Like sometimes I get DMs of people saying, I wanted to like come up and say hi or take a picture but I was too scared. I'm like, actually why? Why are you guys scared? I'm like a small human being. <laughs> but I am a softie. I mean, I cry very easily at many things, including uh, movies. I cried during uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, just side note, yeah. If she wasn't a radio DJ, Sonia Chu would be a producer at Mediacorp. Never really thought of it that way. Um, I think the first thing I would do if I weren't a radio DJ was to be a news presenter. Like I always wanted to be like Diana Cerno, like, like welcome to news on five. It's Sonia Chu. Sonia Chu has been one of the tallest students in class in secondary school days. <laughs> No! Because my index number was like 36 or something, because my name starts with the letter S, I was right behind a girl that was extremely tall. She was like 1.7 and people always missed me when they were doing the index number count because I'm so small. Sonny Chu prefers cohabitation than marriage. No, I would say I do enjoy living with my partner. I do enjoy the idea of getting to know the person that you could potentially be spending your life with before you get to marriage. I mean, what if your partner snores like crazy? I mean, at least you figure it out now and you figure out the things that you can and cannot, you know, live without or do without. Then you you, you sort it out and you settle down, right? I don't know whether it's because I'm a Capricorn. I'm very practical. I really want to just find out what is it that we like and don't like about each other first. So, good news, neither of us snores. Sonia Chu can host but cannot act. <laughs>
Uh, I wouldn't fully disagree with it. I think acting is not my strong suit. Um, if given a chance, obviously, I would love to sharpen that. I think I can only or have only acted in comedies before. I'm always like the comic relief. If you ask me to cry on command on screen, may not happen. So mad respect to actors and actresses out there. It really truly is something that I find challenging. But life is all about challenges, so uh, bring it. I think there are far worse assumptions out there. I've heard the weirdest rumours about myself, so this was this was actually okay. So it was someone that I've never met before, but she was, you know, we were very excited to work together and we took this long flight to Vegas, you know, with the team and stuff like that. So we were chatting and we hit it off really well, we got along. On the flight back, she said, hey, you know, like, I've been meaning to ask you this since we, we flew off from Singapore. How do you juggle all this and still party so hard and work so hard? if you're a single mom. And I was like, wait, what? Like, it was like, creak, creak, like crickets went off in my head. I was like, wait, what? So one of the main things I'm working on right now is this wonderful podcast called Men Explain. Woo woo! <laughs> I think that one of the main reasons why I love this podcast so much is that we're able to be so open and honest and I get to grill the guys in the hot seat. <laughs> yes, grill the guys in the hot seat. I also am still running Izzy Folk, which is a restaurant, a bar on Club Street. Come hit me up for a drink if you want. We can have a couple of drinks together, I don't mind. On the house. Um, just, just the one drink on the house. Might be water, but yeah. <laughs> And one more thing that's also hanging in the air is a Mandarin movie that I filmed a little while ago that is slated to come out soon. So as and when I have the details, I will let you know in Mandarin. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a really tense and nerve-wracking last couple of minutes for me, but I had so much fun. If you liked what you saw, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Till then, next time, bye!